Hello, good day, my great city of Austin. Um, I'm super excited again, like always, to train you guys uh, virtual. So today's workout, um, you're either going to need soup cans or dumbbells, okay? Um, so I've had people really like the pumpkin pie soup cans. They're kind of, they're kind of a little bit bigger. Um, and then, of course, uh, just a basic chicken noodle soup, minestrone, whatever you have in your kitchen, go grab it if you don't have a light pair of dumbbells. I got threes, fives um, here. Um, so today we're going to build some muscle and get stronger. But, of course, before we do, let's do our warm-up. Okay, first getting into those heel taps, getting into those hips, those glutes. Four, three, two, and one. Give me some butt kicks, bring those heels all the way up. Make a dance, make it a dance. I do have a special, a special treat for you guys at the end. Four, three, two, one. So that means you have to stay with me the whole entire time. Don't fast forward. Step back, toes come up, back of the leg stretch. Hold it a few seconds. Tailbone going up. Two. And one. All right, give me those arms up. Touch down. And give me some tin mans. So as the hands come down, the legs come up, nice straight back, try not to hunch over. Three, two, and one. All right, feet, hip width apart. Give me those beautiful squats. Sit down and up, down and up. Also, you will be needing a mat. Um, we will be going down to the floor today. Um, water, a little towel. And of course, your favorite jam's on, okay? Three, two, and one. Good, take one leg back, creep it all the way back. So nice runner's lunge. Front, front knee right over that ankle, feeling that stretch right here. Reach that arm up, reach down. Reach up, reach down. This opposite arm here, just resting on my thigh. Breathe, three. Two, one, switching sides, driving up through that front heel when you come up. Same thing, way back there when you're ready. And reach up, and just a little bit of forward reach. Head follows along with your back. Three, two, and one. Good, take that back leg. And let's jog in place. Light on those feet. Back and forth, back and forth. Three, two, one. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. You know the drill. Three, two, and one. Balance, one leg up. Give me that circle. Pop, pop, pop. And then from here, fan out and fan in, and then add that arm. Balancing on that supported leg as long as you can. Open chest and smile. Good, other side, ankle first. Pop, pop all those directions, and then open and close. Open and close. <sighs> Good. We try to balance. Two and one. Good. Take those legs out wide. All ten toes forward. And seeing the hips back. Opposite hand, opposite foot. So from the side, keep going. Just showing you hinging. Hinging. Three, two, and one. Give me some diagonal arm openers. Open, open, open. Warming up the chest and back. We got some chest flies and back flies today. Three, 
We're going to be flying all day. Two, one, and finally, but not least, tornado. Pick up those heels. Swing those arms. Three, two, and one. All right, so we have three circuits, three exercises. We have 30 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest in between each exercise. We'll be doing all three exercises three times through. And I'm only going to explain uh, three exercises at a time, okay? So starting off, uh, we have an alternating lunge to curl. We have a squat to press and then back flies. So grabbing your soup cans or your dumbbells, an alternating lunge to curl. So chest proud, shoulders back, step back and curl. So lunge, making sure front knee is right over that ankle, not passing or going forward towards that toe or over the toe. And back leg tries to get as low as it can. That's comfortable, okay? So you can either curl and lunge up at the same time or come up, or you can break it down. Lunge and curl. Lunge and curl, okay? Again, if you don't have anything, you're still just going to work with those imaginary soup cans. Then from there, you have a squat to press. Dumbbells are going to be on your shoulder. Those squats, just like in your warm-up, squat to press, okay? So biceps next to those ears. Back down, 30 seconds. Then we have back flies. So for your back flies, you're going to be in a split stance, all 10 toes facing forward. You're going to beach ball arms, okay? Circle here. Those arms stay fixed like this. Shoulders down, open, close. Open, close. From the side, straight back, eyes on the ground about a foot or two in front. 30 seconds, okay? Those three, three times through, okay? We got 30 seconds. Let me make sure my water's filled. And I'm back. All right, let's get ready. We got that alternating lunge to curl for 30 seconds. Here we go. And three, two, one, and go. Lunge to curl. Lunge to curl. Exhale as you come up. Down, up. Down, up. There you go. Big drive. Total body. Three, two, one, relax. 15 seconds, squat to press. Catch your breath. <clears throat> Feet hip width apart. Dumbbells on your shoulders. And three, two, one, and go. Squat to press. Same thing here if you want to squat and then press up, more than welcome to. And again, I might stop during this workout and give you some different alternatives, but you just keep doing you. Hips back, sit back in the chair. Go only to what your level can go for that squat. Again, that means you can just be here, knees behind the toes. Two, one, and rest. Woo! Back flies, still holding onto those dumbbells. Breathe, hinging forward, and three, two, one. Open, close. You can also do this body weight, flying without your soup cans or your dumbbells. My back leg is on the ball of the feet. Looking good, looking good, strong. Two and one, relax. All right, 
First one done. Adjust how you ever need to. Heavier soup cans, lighter soup cans. We're going to go about 15 seconds. Roll those shoulders. Five. All you. Three, two, one. Round two. Down and up. Down. Keep going. I'm rotating. Just two. See you. Ten seconds. Two and one. Breathe. Smile check. Dumbbells on your shoulders. Soup cans ready. Touching the sky in three, two, one, squat to press, squat up, squat up. No weights. Of course, you can also take these to jump squats, squat to your toes, less than 10. Two. One, and rest. Back flies. You can also switch legs if you want, if you remembered what leg was in front last time. Boop. Three, two, and one. Let's open. Open. Close. I'd rather you do this nice and slow and controlled more than fast. Exhale as you pull those dumbbells away. Five. You got it. Two and one. Woo! All right, we got one more round. Okay? One more round. Let's get right into it, and then we'll have a longer break to go over the next three exercises. Three. Come on. Get there. Two. One. And go. Lunge and curl. We got the groove. Less than 10. Come on, my city of Austin. Two, one, and rest. Woo. Never doing that again. Last time, squat to press in three. Just kidding. Three. I'm getting too excited, guys. Two, one, and go. Squat to press. Make sure those knees are tracking with their toes. Knees aren't coming in. Activating those hips and glutes when those knees go out. Less than 10. Final push here. We'll have a nice long water break after those last round of back flies and rest. I'm starting to breathe heavy. Here we go. Three, two, one. Open, close. Last time for your back. Remember, if you need to, Take those elbows closer in, bending more at the elbows. The longer your lever, the more difficult it's going to be. Open. You got it. Ten seconds. Flying for the last time upright. Two and one. Yay! First circuit complete. I told you that was our last time flying upright because we have chest flies next for our second round. We are going down to the ground for this second time or this second circuit. So for your chest fly, I'm going to show you 
from this direction first. You keep moving, dancing, recovering. So same thing here with those arms, but now we're going out and up, but on our back. I'm not relaxing my elbows at all. I'm having them hover. My triceps are hovering right over the floor and then driving up. We have 30 seconds here. From this side, arms right outside the chest, exhale up. Then from here, dumbbells come down. Two exercises, we have dead bug and bird dog. So low back pushing down, opposite arm, opposite leg, whoop, and up, whoop, and up. So lower half, slow, lower back, pushing back, I mean pushing down, and arms going nice and slow. It is not like this. Slowly, keeping knees over the hips, wrist over shoulders. And then finally, but not least, we have bird dog. Flipping quickly, you got 15 seconds though. And we're going out and back down. Eyes on the ground. Arms and legs are just coming to torso height. If you want to challenge, you can always place whatever you have on your back to keep you a little bit more steady and add a little bit of stability to your body, okay? All right, chest flies, same thing, 30 seconds, 15 of rest, uh, three times through. Here we go. I'm gonna be on my side. <sighs> Not on my side, you'll see me from the side. Here we go in three, two, one, and out and up. Same thing with your back flies. Your chest flies are slow and controlled. No need to fly fast. Low back down, feet are flat. Strong chest, strong chest. Two and one, good, dumbbells down. Easy though, or soup cans down. I'm gonna have to keep on remembering soup camp or dumbbells. You know what I'm talking about. All right, knees up, arms up, and three, two, and one. Your heel should not come all the way down. Bicep, try and get to that ear. Kind of a good stretch. Less than 10. Two and one. Flipping over into that bird dog. Again, add a little weight on here if you'd like. And three, two and one. Shoulders are locked down away from your ears. Squeezing the glute at the top. Looking good, looking good, over halfway. Two, and one. Round two. Going back into those chest flies. Easy on the way down. Arms up. Elbows slightly bent. Are we ready? Yes, Rachel, we're ready. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Out and up. There we go, a couple more. A few more seconds. Two and one. 
I'm gonna give an option here. You can hold on to your dumbbells if you want or your soup cans and practice your dead bug in this position. Yeah. Working that upper body a little bit more in three, two, and one. I know I'm gonna go a little bit slower. Ooh, yeah, those lats are really working when I'm adding those dumbbells. Low back, low back. I gotta talk to myself. Low back, low back, push, 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 push. Work, work, work. Ooh, yeah, I can start to feel that one. Last one here. And awesome work. Flipping over. Second round for that bird dog. And three, two, and one. I'm gonna show you guys a different variation here. You wanna take it to a bird dog crunch. You can alternate, knee to elbow. Ooh. Yes, you have the sound effects. And rest. All right, one more time. One more time for our chest fly. And three, two, one, and go. Out and up. Now you guys better keep doing all these videos. So when I see you guys in July, you guys are ready to go right back into where we ended last time we were in person, which I can't keep up with the time right now, so I don't know how long it's been since I've seen you. Three, two, oh. Okay, one more. Out and up. Woo. All right, dumbbells or no dumbbells. It's your, it's your decision now. Knees up, arms up, in three, two, one, and go. Right. Remember, arms right over shoulders, knees over your hips. Two and one. Ooh, that one was a challenge. All right, bird dog. Bird dog crunch. If you want to hold your bird dog, you can do that as well. And I'll call you halfway. Here we go in three, two, one, and begin. So again, bird dog crunch. Maybe halfway holding. So pulling everything in. We are halfway here. So if you need to switch sides. Keep moving, whatever, whatever variation you're doing. Looking great, looking great. Five more seconds. Push, push, push. Two, one, and whew, nice little core engagement there. All right, on to our third one. Grab water if needed, keep moving. Like I said, dancing. We have a side lunge to forward raise. We have a sumo squat hold with a pull apart and then tricep kickbacks. So all um, three of these moves will have either your soup cans or your dumbbells. So going over the three exercises, we have side lunge, forward raise. Side lunge, forward raise. From the side, just like those side lunges that we usually do in the warm up. Knee behind the toe, hips are back. Side lunge, up, shoulder height, knees are bent, elbows are soft. Down, boom, and up. 
All right, now depending on how your dumbbells are, you can either do this body weight or lighter soup cans. So I'll just show you body weight. So sumo squat hold, pinkies facing each other. So palms up, open, close, open, close. So with my dumbbells, open, close, open, close. Slow and controlled, especially if you have fives or heavier. And then finally, but not least, we have our tricep kickback. Elbows back, boom, boom. So elbows are in towards the ribs, and I'm just extending the forearm, okay? Notice my top part of my arm is parallel to the floor, and it stays there. Eyes on the ground. All right? Woo! All right, so side lunge to forward raise, sumo squat with pull apart, or sumo squat hold with a pull apart, and then the tricep kick back. After that, you get a little surprise, okay? All right, here we go. Side lunge, forward raise. Those of you that want to take the step out for your side lunges, remember you can always just be here, side lunge, up, raise. Here we go. And three, two, one, begin. Side lunge, up, forward raise. Palms are down when you do your forward raises. Big step out, making that lower body work. Two and one. All right, sumo squat, stance. Palms are facing up now. Shoulders back. Three, two, one. Down, up, out, back in. Out, back in. Arms are going to be sore tomorrow. Two, one, whoo, baby, that one hurt. Body weight is an option. Maybe just get some expo markers to hold. Here we go. Those tricep kickbacks, hinging forward, elbows back, two and one. Now remember, you can do one arm at a time or both, or you can alternate. Alternate before, like I'm doing one, one, two. One, one. And two. One, one, and two. Over halfway. Looking hot, looking sexy. Two, one, and rest. First round done. Grab water. Smile check. There we go. If you're around someone, high five, fist bump, elbow bump, whatever. Whatever feels right for you. Let's get ready for that second time. Shoulders back. Three, two, and one. Side lunge, forward raise. Halfway. Just think about that movement. Think about that form. Two and one. 15 seconds. I'm going to drop my weights for this round. I'm just going to be doing body weight. You do you. Three, two, one. Down. Open and close. Open and close. You want to make sure, too, that your chest is not flaring open. So I'm not here. Ooh, that feels bad on my back. So it's just my arms. Rib cage down. 15 seconds. Staying low. That lower body's working hard. Pushing the knees out. You got it. Don't give up. Two 
and one. Woo. Tricep kickbacks, picking up those weights. If you did put them down, if not, keep clutching onto them. Bending over, hinging. Three, two, one, and kick back. Kick back. Kick back. Halfway. Those little tiny muscles working hard and rest. Whew. All right. One more time, these three exercises. I know we're tired. That just means turn up the jams. A little jump up and down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ten seconds before we start our last time. Strongest round yet. Three, two, and one. Side lunge. Halfway. Two and one. All right, this final round, or for final one for this one, the sumo squat hold with the pull apart. I'm going to challenge myself and hold on to these bad boys. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Same thing here. If you need to, especially for your back flies, you need to bend more at your elbows to make it easier. Totally fine. Tuck that tailbone. Avoid opening the chest up too much. Taking it slow. Oh, yeah. Oh, last one here. And rest. Woo. Ah. Tricep kickbacks. Hinge. Three, two, one, and go. Kick back. Five seconds. Come on, baby. Two and one. Yay! All right, I'm already feeling the upper body. I hope you are too. So, we already got through those three circuits, but I told you I had a little surprise. It's just two exercises back and forth. We have a soup can tip and a soup can dance. Oh, yeah. I said it. We're going to dance together. I don't care. I don't have any music. I'm just dancing to my own beat of my drum. I hope you have music. First, though, we have our soup can tip. So soup cans, dumbbells in hand. We're going to be alternating. Shoulders back, one leg at a time. So finishing off with some balance. Always super important to practice. So from the side, straight back, shoulders back. And then we get to soup can dance. Oh yeah, oh yeah, uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh. Yes, that was just a little bit of a preview of me. I can't wait to see you dance. Let's go. That soup can tip, 30 seconds, back and forth, three. Two and one. Take your time here. Conserve that energy for your dancing. Keeping the hip down, whatever leg is up, and toes internally rotating towards your center. You can either dance with one soup can or two. Totally up to you. Two 
And one. All right. Here we go. We we'll only do 20 seconds of dancing. And three, two, and one, and go. Oh yeah. Shaky and shaky and shake it. Oh yeah. Boom, 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 my imaginary guitar. Yes, and yes. Two, and one, and rest. All right. Second time. That was a little bit of, oh, just a warm up. Five seconds. Tipping. Three, two, and one. Engage the core. Practice. Balance. Only reach down to a comfortable distance. So knee, it might be your shin. Five seconds. Ooh, almost there. All right, almost tipped there. And rest. It's because I'm too excited. All right, here we go. Round number two. Dance moves. And three, two, and one. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Other way. Other way. Other way. Ooh, ooh. Dun, 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 dun. Three, two, and one. All right, I got one more time. One more time to tip and dance. You can either dance with your soup cans or not. Shoulders back, five. Three, two, and one. This is your serious time. We will get to the dance moves for the last time soon. Eight seconds. Getting better and better at these. The more you practice balance, the better and easier these get. All right, here we go. Last time. Dancing it out. 20 seconds. Two, one, go. Oh, on, on, on. Practice some proprioception here. Let loose, let loose, let loose. Three, two, and one. Woo! Give yourself a round of applause. I hope you danced like no one was watching. And of course, you know what time it is. Dumbbells, soup cans out of the way. Cause it's starfish time. Taking it all the way down, turn your music off, lights off. Remember, I have them on. Your one minute of silence. In through your mouth, I mean, in through your nose for three, out through your mouth for four. In three, two, one, and relax. Two, one, and relax. Smile, 
hands touching at the top, feet touching at the bottom, stretch out that body, arch your lower back, uh, three, two, and one, arms out, palms down, take one foot over, lift those ribs, I mean, lift those hips, your ribs are also coming up, spinal twist, play around with this top leg, you can bring it up, hold it where it feels good, maybe leave it out a little bit farther away if it bothers your lower back and hip. Chest is opening, reaching those arms across the floor. And breathe. Other side. Two and one. Now yeah, let's go lying down quad stretch. So on one side, your ear on your arm, same arm, same leg. Try and get your knees to be together, or it might be more comfortable to be up, pushing the hips forward. So you should be feeling a stretch right here on that quad. If you feel like you feel this more when you stand up, you're more than welcome to stand up and do this. After this, we'll hit our child's pose, just to let you know. Just giving you something a little bit different here. And release. And other side. <sighs> Again, good work today. Way to show up. Press play. Get to sweating. <sighs> Building some muscle. Maybe waking up some muscles we haven't woken up in a while. <sighs> and release. Good. On your belly. Hand outside your chest, pushing up into that child's pose. Those of you that were standing in your quad stretch upright, you're more than welcome to join us here at the bottom. Hips meet the heels, reaching arms out in front, stretching out that lower back, and then stacking the hands on top of each other to get more of a stretch in your lats. Maybe rock side to side. As you inhale, push your belly into your thighs and exhale, letting everything go. Unstack those hands, come up to all fours, just like in your bird dog. And then slowly come up to standing. Hip flexor is going to be facing you for this one. One leg back, all 10 toes forward, tucking that tailbone. Okay, so I'm here kind of hinging um, or leaning forward, upright. Back knee bends more. Arm up and then reach over. And then I'll show you from the side. So again, lean here, tuck under, and then reach. Do this every day. Super important, squeeze the butt cheek, release more, release more. And other side, tuck it, feel that stretch here. Arm up, balance, again, incorporated here, core. And awesome. Give me some shoulder rolls. Now remember, I'm going to be shooting three videos a week for you guys. Okay? So this is actually an awesome opportunity for those of you that I only got to see once a week. Um, I know a few of you out there doing uh, two and three classes uh, per week with me. But now, no matter what, you got three with me. So 
tough. I know it's also a bad thing that I don't get to see you, um, but it's also a good thing that you're getting uh, more chances to work out with me. So I'm super happy about that. Shoulder rolls up, back, and down. Up, back. Oh, sh. Ooh, move the head to neck. Ah. Ah. Working all those kinks out, especially if you're sitting all day. Thank you for dancing with me today. Hopefully you guys let loose. Again, no one was watching. Let's do those inhales and exhales together. Legs out, sumo stance. <sighs> Take it down. Up, 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 and exhale. Whew. Number two, down. Up, 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 and exhale. And last one. Have a great day, night, week, weekend, and exhale. Nice work today, guys.